actually are called Ming's Bing's, Ming Bing Mua, Bing's Bing, a traditional, uh, in Chinese they're called Xie Bing, which is a stuffed dumpling. All-purpose flour, hot boiling water. This is called a hot water dough. This is how you make dumpling wrappers. This is how you make the wrapper for pot stickers, for scallion pancakes. You can use, um, I guess I could use a KitchenAid too. Um, the thing you don't want to do ever with any doughs is overwork it. And a little wet is better than a little dry because once you get on your board to knead, you can always use bench flour and, and, and add some dryness to it. You want it to come to a ball like this, all right? That's pretty good because then we're going to knead it. You want to knead it by hand. Then what you want to have is some bench flour put right here. You want flour in your hands so it doesn't stick. And when you knead, you kind of just, you kind of push out and bring it towards you. And then I, I tend to rotate it. And again, it's nice and hot, hot and pliable, hence the name hot water dough. But you want to knead it till it's nice and smooth. And you don't want to over knead it. Because if you over knead it, it gets tough. You get it like that. And let it rest. You can't work with it hot because it, it, it's, it's, too, it's too soft. You need to let it rest and put it into a bowl. You can cover it with plastic wrap. Put it in your fridge, and after it rests, you have this. And it gets a little sticky on the bottom, but again, bench flour. doesn't matter, all right? So, filling. This is a little bit of minced garlic, guys. Pan's hot, so we're going to add some shiitake mushrooms. If your pan's hot and you get garlic or something in, you can see it's almost going to burn, just add your veg or something in to cool the pan down. Put water and oil. Uh, I'll just salt, pepper, right? Garlic. Natural root soy sauce. I don't, I don't work for any soy sauce company, just make sure it says naturally brewed. Should have three ingredients, just have soybeans, salt, and water. All right. This you cook, you taste, you say it tastes delicious, delicious. Then you fold in a little tofu. You can tell I'm on a tofu kick these days. Once it's chilled, all right, we make a bing. Now with this, what I like to do is you can just roll it out. And I'm going to show you the traditional way of making a bang, and then I'm going to show you the new way we make it a blue ginger. So, filling. So this is the traditional way that you take it all, and this this could be this is actually a big dim sum. You guys have seen beggar purses and stuff like that, right? Um, right. But then you have all this dough. So what do you do? You cut off that end, and then you flatten it out, right? Because you don't want a doughy bang, and then you pinch it right where that was. And then you f push it flat and get a bang, right? So that's one way you do a bang. The other way you do a bang is you actually get a bigger piece. And we make like 500 of these a day right now, blue ginger. So we actually take this and we actually make more. We make it like actually we stole this from the Italians, which is rare because they've stolen everything from us. Um, Mario and I have fights about who invented pasta. So this, so ravioli technique, right? You can do like this. And then you can punch it this way. And then we take a pastry cutter and we cut it. We can just take a knife. So then you can do this. And this is another way of doing it. All right? And we have, you have these, uh, these stainless steel pastry cutters and then you push it. It's kind of like this, actually. And you push it like that. See that? You can get a nice seal. You've got to make sure that nothing leaks out. And when we make 500 of these, we find out that with that pastry cutter, it works much better that way. Now to cook things quickly, So this is raw dough. Now, when you, when you do these with pork or shrimp or whatever, you absolutely have to make sure it's cooked through. All right, looking for that color. Isn't that nice? Uh, um, so now, beautiful, crispy. This other side is going to get beautiful, crispy. But if it was pork or whatever, still raw. No good. Grab Fiji water. Or you can grab tap water, I guess. Grab cover. Put in and have cover right there. This is a little bit big, but it doesn't matter. I'm adding water to oil. Lots of really big splatter will get in your eye, will burn you. So make sure it covers in your hand. So right now, I had a beautiful crisp bottom, and now it's all wet and soggy. So now you cook by sound. You cook until the, that, this water goes away. There's still oil, because that hasn't gone away, right? That's not steaming up. The oil will re-crisp that. You flip it to get now the top side, which is soft. Then you have super crispy bang on both sides and hot cooked filling. All right, real quickly, I'm going to make a very quick dipping sauce. Soy sauce, naturally brewed. Black Chinese vinegar, love, 
ginger, boom. Or you can say, chili flake, mab. <laughs> That's bam backwards. And I love animals. Scallions, and it's just a touch of sugar. Just because, um, thank you, just because vinegar is tart. That's my dipping sauce. I will serve it in my ramekin. Spill for good luck. All right, so these bings are almost done. Look at those. Aren't those nice? So flip this. Now get this side. So that's all crispy now, right? And that's all crispy. Th these taste delicious. Would you like to try one? Yeah. Nice to have you here.